Hi, my name is Lawrence Goyal, and this is SVP Tube Training. And the first thing you're going to want to do when you, when you get your camera is you're going to want to put the battery in. And how you do that is you just flip this up. This comes right up like that. Make sure your battery is faced the correct way. Lines up and it just snaps right in. And then you, just, you can give it a little tug up and down, make sure it's secure. And then when you're done, you just close that in like that. You're good to go. Very important feature is the on button on the camera. Uh, to start it, you just put your finger here and you move this slider into the on position. Uh, to load a tape, you're going to want to move this eject button up. So slide that up and this pops right out. You're going to want to insert your tape into here with the tape back facing towards the camera so that the open side is facing the camera. When you're done inserting the tape, you just close the assembly. Uh, after you put your tape in, Open this window and you can get a visual of what you're recording. Alright, so you have, you have here your audio level, you have your time on the tape, you have your focus amount, and you have your battery life. Alrighty, so this is your focus here. You can set it to auto or manual. A for auto, M for manual. If you set it to manual, you'll use this to focus the camera. Okay, to white balance, you have to focus on a white object and then just hit this button right here. Then this is all, these are your gain controls here. You can have an auto white balance, a B, for you balance it yourself with this button, or you have the preset. We're not going to worry about the presets right now. Just keep it on B and balance with the button. These are your presets. Adjust your picture. Each one has its own thing. This one is Spark, apparently. This one is Flu, fluorescent, I'm assuming. And that's your normal one right there. Now, if you want to view something on your camera, you can switch it into VCR mode. And you can watch your tape from here. Here are your tape controls. You click this up for play, fast forward, rewind, and stop for down. And then you have a menu button there. You can play with the menu. And these are some other uh, filter settings here. If your picture is not quite right and you want to get it darker or lighter, you can always mess with this. They have 1 8 or 1 64th settings. Sometimes if your picture is not right and you don't know why, it's usually because this is all the way up. So you can just turn that off. And these are your audio controls. Um, if you're going to plug in an external audio source, you're going to use this right here. These are called X XLR. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to take an uh, audio cable like this, and this is a, what's called a female end because it has holes in it, as opposed to a male end that has protrusions that fit into the holes. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the male end and you're going to stick it in the female end and you're going to make a note of what channel that you're using because there's an audio input 1 and then there's audio input 2. Coming back to our controls, if we used input 1, we're going to control audio from our channel 1. If we used input 2, we will control audio from channel 2. Always make sure to check your audio before a shoot. 
And just make sure when you remove the audio cable that you hit the release button as well so that you're not just yanking on it. Make sure you push that release button and then it comes right out. Alright, so here we have our zoom controls. T stands for toward and W for wide. So if you want to get closer to an object, you can use this one, or if you want to get further back, you use the W. If you have your hand in here, it's very useful. Also, you have another set of controls up here. They do the same exact thing, forward, backward. But they're, they're helpful for if your hand is not in this cradle position and you want to have another point of access. This is also another record button here. You can stop recording or start recording from up here as well. Another fun fact is uh, when you're using the handle zoom you can control the speed. So you have three which means it'll go in and out really quick. You can set it to two which will slow it down and give you some intermediate zooming. Then you have one which is the slow amount of zooming. Okay, so that's about it for today. That's the camera.